Good morning and welcome to another edition of In the Field with Scott Cordville. We're coming to you from the Acadiana Regional Airport Access Road, New Iberia. Can you feel that? Something very exciting is going on today and I want you to be a part of it. We're going to be closing out phase two of this project and beginning phase three. Now what is exactly does that mean? That means we're going to be opening up this roundabout right behind me to traffic. Finally going to be able to put uh, traffic off of the detour road and back onto the main road and opening up this project. Uh, we still have a little bit more work left to do in certain parts of it, but that'll be completely out of the way. But for now, the excitement is this road is about to become open. Since our last check-in, our contractor has been able to install our permanent striping on the roadway. We still need to tie in the striping with the uh, existing road striping of LA 3212. And we also have reflectors that need to go in. We've also put up our permanent signs and did our joint seals of the concrete. All of our testing has been done and we've done a walkthrough inspection by both DOTD and parish officials, as well as the engineers in charge. Uh, we made minor adjustments to anything that needed to be repaired. And pretty much the roundabout is now ready to be open to traffic and put to good use. Our contractors also moved in cones and barricades to close off sections of roadway that'll still be under construction. In order for us to transfer traffic over from the detour road onto the new road, first thing we have to do is to take up the pavement markings. We don't want traffic to get distracted, go the wrong way, not knowing exactly which markings they're supposed to follow. So our striping crew is on site, grinding up the existing uh, thermoplastic striping that's down, removing the reflectors. Next thing they'll be doing is tying in the existing roadway striping into the new roadway striping. 1222 on May the 4th, the roundabout is officially open and our first traffic is coming through. Our striping consists of a type of plastic called thermoplastic that is heated up to over 300 degrees. It's not something you want to touch when it's hot. Um, it's obviously applied when it's hot and glass beads are dropped right behind it and embedded into the paint and it takes a few minutes for it to dry out. I'll have to show you what that process looks like as this uh, paint cart passes by. We are currently putting our white edge line on the roadway. And for those that have always wondered just how the striping is reflective at night, those little glass beads that are embedded are actually designed to reflect light back at the source of the light. You can see right up close all the glass beads that are installed. So due to time constraints, I was not able to document for you guys the installation of the raised pavement markers, or reflectors as we call them. But everything else has been put in place. There's a few exceptions that we need to uh, tidy up to make sure everything is absolutely fine. But the roundabout is officially open and has been under traffic since about 1230 today. So very glad to announce that we are moving into phase three starting tomorrow. We are making progress on the roundabout. And this has been another edition of In the Field with Scott Corville. Hope you have an awesome day.